Well, baby, you want to go down the budget knife trail? Seems like that's all I've been doing lately. I need to get me about a $5,000 knife. And do that on my channel just so I can save my reputation. But instead, I'm playing around with these garbage knives. You know, all that garbage. I get a drive-by commenter every once in a while. It's like, dude, you've never even had the knife in your hand. I mean, it's funny how you can be so dismissive, right? Uh, if you haven't tried it, you don't know what the hell it is, okay? Um, this one is the Six Leaf knife, by the way. And Six Leaf made um, in the bespoke area of London, England by, you know, the highest craftsmen uh, that work for the Queen. And you know what? This is my Carta. This is a thick as a brick little dog. It's got a black G10 backspacer, deep carry pocket clip. Not bragging about the screws. They're they they got they're poking up there pretty good. They could have flattened them out, but it's right hand tip up only. But here's the big deal. The big deal, Lucille, is it's rattlesnake design harvey lynn i'll give you the link to his instagram channel yes he's done some for tucson knives as well and this is the sl dash o2 in d2 oh by the way i need to get this tested i'm gonna put this on my test list i'm getting a box together to go test and this ought to be a good one don't you think but if this test is d2 then baby this was a, a heck of a heck of a heck of a buy. There's my winning bid. $29. No, please, God. And it's only on eBay that I could find. I don't know. Maybe you can find them on AliExpress. You can go look. But this same guy did also a titanium knife that I'm sure is a Harvey Lynn design as well. Although I don't see his logo on it and said it's m390 titanium m390 i bought the damn thing for 47 bucks bidding on it uh god maybe two months ago right and i sent it in for testing it is really m390 so it'd be a joke if this d2 doesn't test right same seller um i don't know if the seller has anything to do with the actual manufacturer though okay so and flip side page is there's the specs Okay, ceramics, hold on, he's into ceramics? I thought he was into knives. So this one, ooh, it's hail and hardy. Uh, I, I would say that the fit and the finish on this is relatively good. Even, you know, I always go for kind of the insides of these liners to see if they've really kind of, you know, rounded them off nicely and they have and they have so that's okay that's fine and look at the flipper tab there it is it's over the detent ball the drops nice it's centered no blade player lock rock lock ups probably 35 percent on here the liners they show and it looks like they've been skeletonized at least on the presentation side, not on the lock bar side, but we will take this apart. No entry here to the front. There's that. That almost looks like a number eight. Is that a number eight body screw? Oh, yeah. Ooh, it's almost a little loose, by the way. Never mind. Okay, we're tied down now. And then a little raggedy on the micarta going through the lanyard area. I mean, good grief, I paid him 29 bucks. You'd think he'd have done better than that. And uh, there's, your, there's your stop in here. Okay, That's, that looks pretty hardy. And, you know, the flipper tab is, they've knocked the edges off of that. And I've seen some where they don't. And they just feel really kind of edgy along there because they didn't break those lines along there. And then it's jimped, and there's a hole through it. You know, that's almost as good as my Ganzo. See that? They've done the same thing. The Ganzo FH922, $30 knife. Well, 
of course, this is a $30 knife. This is $29. What should I expect? But, um, yeah, I mean, but it wasn't no $29. I, I think you have to pay tax and garbage like that on eBay. But I had to. I had to check it out because Gabe Freeze on... Uh, he Gabe and he's Mr. Roboto on uh, Instagram. And he's always alpha male on me. Like, look what I got. Oh, I'm a stud. And it's like, I hate you. Where'd you get it, by the way? Can I get one too? What's the link? So, and uh, yeah, so I got it. And uh, you know what? I'm I'm not going to complain about it. I, actually, I don't think I've really come to appreciate this as much as I should because, I mean, look at the drop. I mean, you know, that's nice. Well, will it cut anything? Well, hell, I don't know. Shit. That's the last thing I checked. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Yeah, it's... I don't feel too much drag when it's going through the paper, so I'd say it's relatively sharp. It's not, like, scary sharp, but it's it's relatively sharp. Look at this grind here. Woo! Um, but you know what? That ain't going to stop you from sharpening this up. Just gets a lot of style points. Talk about a reinforced tip. Mama. Oh, which begs the question, right? How thick is this blade stock? 3.7 millimeter, 0.14. How fat is this? I don't even know if I want to look. I can close my eyes. Please, God, don't let it be over six. Oh, God, it is. 17 millimeters. Holy moly. Oh, she's a fat daddy. Fat daddy. Okay, how long are you? That's a handful. If you, I mean, there's guys that'll go, oh, I love a knife that's a handful. Um, my wife's a handful, too. I'm not sure I'm loving that. Three and a half, 90 millimeters. And, okay, almost as long as a paramilitary, too. Just a little skosh shorter. But it's eight and a sixteenth, all of that, at uh, 20 and a half centimeters. So there's good. I mean, really, the cutting length of this blade is longer than the cutting length of this. The PM2, the cutting length here is three and a quarter. This is longer for cutting length, so we're good. Uh, although the overall length of this is just a hair shorter. And I'd say the ergos on this are better. And, the, I mean, look at... This is redonkulous here. Look at that. Look at how fat this damn thing is compared to this. This is a 0.46. This is ridiculous. But if you like that contoured micarta, ooh. And you know what? Uh, one thing for sure is when you have this big drop here, and then this is not real tall. I mean, I would have dropped it and maybe kept this just like another eighth or more depth here. Now, that added more weight to it, but, uh, yeah, I mean, okay. I, but here's another thing, this coming up here. And if it doesn't give you enough room, because, see, a lot of times you'll run, the bolster will run... To where here and you can put your fingers right under that pivot area right let me see if i can find some you know i'm almost right under that pivot area and with this one i'm way behind it so i've really reduced the length i can put my fingers on which means my little fingers kind of on that hump and i can feel that so mm, the ergos are okay but not great and I don't like feel like I want to be that far back which means that really the way I would feel comfortable with this knife is by having my first finger up here now I feel good this feels good but I'm a bit on the dangerous side with that but if I was doing you know a real cutting task thing I'd probably do this 
as opposed to be way back here. It feels like I'm way behind this pivot area and I just don't have the angle I need. So I want to get up here and I can get on that dog like that. But yeah, she's... Well, interesting design though. I like Harvey Lynn designs. He's done some stuff and you know, like I said, rattlesnake designs. He's done some good stuff for Tucson as well. Yeah, 5.23 ounces at 148 grams. So yeah, it's it's not a lightweight, that's for sure. And it's definitely not slender in the pocket. I get it. Nothing to brag about on the box. But then again, I mean, you can go on and bid on these as long as he's going to keep showing them on there. And then that titanium ratchet knife, that's the one I bought and had tested. And it's real M390. And I'm going to have that upcoming on my channel alone. Plus, I'm, it'll be in one of uh, probably batch 41 or batch 42 test results as well that I'll be reporting on. I'll show you the PMI reading on that and yes it's it's really M390 whether it's really M whether it's really a great uh, you know heat treat or not that's a whole nother issue but it's real M390 yeah cool cool SL2 I wonder there's another one there's another one I've got coming from eBay I bought that's a bigger knife than this and I think it's more slender but definitely longer and in G10, and I think it's a Tanto blade, and it's another one that Gabe turned me on to, and so I've got one coming because I won the bid on that for a rocking, I don't know, 30-something bucks. So these are definitely not expensive. They're fun. They're interesting. They're different. Um, the design is attractive uh, on this and that ratchet knife. So absolutely. All right, I went and grabbed it real quick. It was in a box over here. Look familiar? Titanium, yes. M390, yes. $47, yes. That's what I paid for it. I looked the other day, I saw one of these on, uh, and somebody's catching on because I saw somebody have the bid up to 80 some dollars on this. And see, I wouldn't have bid that on this because I didn't know if this was M390 or not, but now I know it is. So I went on and bid on it and it got outbid. So hell with it. But it's got this thumb disc on it. So, um, and this is a ratchet knife. This is insane. Okay. Listen. Okay. Won't go anywhere. It does have this. See, it, it's a very strange mechanism. You hear that zip? Did I just did I just rip my zipper? Okay. Okay, hold on. See what I'm saying? That's why they call it the ratchet knife. And this in between, it doesn't open or close. Forward, it opens, but it won't close. All the way back, it'll close, but it won't open. Very strange. Not not sure I'm like totally in love with that idea but obviously there's no drop you see what I'm saying weird very very strange but you know 40 something dollars okay I'll do that but it looks like basically but I didn't see his logo see I didn't see rattlesnake logo on here but it, it looks, it's dead on, it's his design, I'm sure it is. And it came in a box, this was it, this was the box. I wrote that on top, that was it, that was a box. That's like the, the inner box of a Tucson. Um, so, uh, but, you know, I'm not gonna complain because it, it, it didn't cost me that much. And it's very, very unique. So, an interlude sorry about that i just wanted to this one way more fidget friendly and uh probably going forward going to be a lot less expensive 
but we will test the D2 to make sure that that uh, that's good. And blade to handle length, good. Design flow, great. Uh, it's 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 good. The fit and finish is not that bad, but like I was saying, it looks a little raggedy through there, doesn't it? But it's that that kind of micarta, which on the other hand does give you some pretty good, you know, tactile grip there. Lockup's good too. Gets over the detent ball quick and nice little drop to it. So let's see what we can do with the Sweet Leaf. I mean, oh, I'm sorry, the Six Leaf. That's Ozzy's song is Sweet Leaf. Black Sabbath. Who's a Sabbath fan out there? And uh, I was going to say who's smoking Sweet Leaf. Oh, here we go. This side, too. I don't think it's legal in Arkansas. I moved from a weed legal state to one that's probably not now. Okay. Boom. And here, here it comes apart. Uh, okay. There's no... Uh, it's not skeletonized here, but that is a ceramic detent ball. And then they've got this squared off here, so you're not going to spin your pivot. And... It came apart really easy, and there's ceramic bearings, and uh, yeah, it looks, actually it looks pretty clean. Sometimes you'll see a lot of micarta fibers and garbage around, but I'm not seeing that. Actually, the micarta, hold on, the micarta looks better on that side than it does on that. And if you like it slick and kind of epoxied looking, I kind of like that. That's cool. Okay, so... What do we got? Actually, this comes apart really easy. Oh, there you go. Squared off on the pivot. Even though there's no logo to have to center, but there's no entry here either. So uh, it's a good thing they did that. And then here's your stop. And here's your damn thing swinging around because there's some piece of something that goes through there that's over on this side. Okay. That's just a little locator thingy. Okay, whatever. It's a thingy. Get this thing together. Okay, we're good. Um, yeah, uh, actually, that's a number eight. The hardware's not bad. It's like a machined look on that, and the uh, bearings look pretty respectable as well. So I'm not going to complain, actually. Um, in that regard. Other issues, yeah, but uh, not there. Uh, and it looks stonewashed here. It's it's not really sharp here either. So it's not a lot to pick apart about this knife, really. And I do like the deep carry, so, but, you know, no left hand, uh, you know, no left hand capability there for carry. Slip this up, and the flat spot's got to go to the top. Okay. And then we put a uh, bearing on here. And let's put some go-go juice on it. And let's put a blade on it. Come on, buddy. Move back. Here we go. And you can see where the blade stop is. Um... I got nothing left, do I? This is easy. Oh, 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 hold on. Where's my other ring of bearings? There it is. Crap. Okay. And then uh, this little dog fell out. We'll just put it down here. There you go. Positioned properly. And as long as this... Yeah, I think it's lined. I think it'll line up. Okay. Are we good? Yeah, we are. Ooh, it's fat. That's why I didn't think I had to click down all the way, but it's just fat. Okay, come on, come on. All right. And a number eight body screw. Wow, that's impressive for 29 bucks. Okay, give me your six leaf, huh? Some kind of leaf. 
And are we are we down on this like we need to be? Probably don't need to be any more than that. We're pretty dang centered up. Okay, not as droppy as it was before. So maybe I'll put a little bit more pressure on it, but I'm good. I'm I'm good. I'm good. All right. I mean, we've got, you know, fancy box. Like I said, made in London, England by Bespoke Finest Craftsman. Uh, but, uh, okay. In any case, it, it's an interesting knife. And I'm glad I have guys here and there that bring my attention to different types of knives. And I've probably got a half a dozen brand names sitting on it on a note in my uh, iPad to try out yet that I haven't even got to but uh, yeah this one hoss it up like this this is a better feel interesting just wanted to put it on my channel I just I thought it was fascinating and being uh, a rattlesnake design I, I thought that was pretty cool as well and you know what we do we love them knives damn it so you guys stay sharp